Not all instrument approaches end in the landing. Many times you'll have to execute a missed approach and continue flying under IFR until you're cleared for another approach or cleared to another airport, such as your alternate that you filed. So let's do a bit of a deep dive on how to execute a missed approach. Say we are deep in the clouds on short final for runway 26 on the RNAV 26 into Laconia Airport. The minimum descent altitude is 1,420 feet MSL. When we get to the MDA and can't see the runway or any visual cues that we have the runway environment in sight, we need to execute a missed approach. Per the RNAV 26 approach into Laconia, we are not allowed to descend below the MDA if we can't see the runway environment and we can only begin the missed approach procedure when we reach the runway threshold. To fly the missed approach, it is best to have memorized the five ups, as I call it, associated with flying a missed procedure. The five ups of going missed on an IFR approach are power up, pitch up, clean up, that means retract your flaps and gear, uh, carb heat up or cowl flaps open, and then call up. When we call up, we're going to basically, at a non-towered airport such as Laconia, we're just going to call over the CTAF that we're going missed on the approach, and then we're going to immediately switch to Boston approach and let them know we're flying the published mist on the RNAV 26 at Laconia as we're unable to gain visual of the runway. Boston approach will say Roger and will ask us what are our intentions. We should already know in advance what we want to do, either make another attempt at the Laconia on either the same approach or a different approach with lower minimums possibly, or we'd like to fly to our filed alternate airport. And then as you begin your climb, you'll hit the unsuspend button on the GPS unit to have the GPS sequence to the fixed associated with the missed approach. If the aircraft has an autopilot and includes a toga button, you can hit the toga button and based on the aircraft and autopilot types, the toga button will provide flight director command bars to pitch the nose up of the aircraft and if the autopilot is enabled, automatically level the aircraft's wings, pitch up, and sequence the GPS navigation to the missed approach fix. If an aircraft has an auto throttle, it will automatically add power as part of initiating the mist. However, the pilot will still have to retract the flaps and gear. There is also an alternative memory aid for flying a missed procedure called the 5 C's that a lot of flight schools and flight instructors use. However, I have one major concern with the 5 C mnemonic and it has to do with the first term, cram. Per the 5 C mnemonic for initiating a missed procedure on an IFR missed approach, you're supposed to cram, that's to add full power, climb, pitch up, clean, retract gear and flaps, cool, uh, turn carb heat off if you had it on, or open the cowl flaps, and then call, basically letting ATC know that you've gone missed. My concern with the cram name is that it suggests to a student pilot to instantaneously shove in full power when initiating a missed procedure. Doing this can lead to the engine possibly stumbling, which I've personally experienced when a student pilot either rams or yanks out the power very rapidly. So for this reason, I teach students to memorize the five ups, as I call it, when initiating a missed approach procedure or doing a go around. So to conclude, make sure you're practicing flying not only the instrument approaches, but also flying the published missed approach procedures and executing them in a consistent and sequential method as described in either my five ups method or the five C mnemonic method. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified of my next video.